Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, write a program to return data from third row and fourth column in a table using Selenium automation. Let me answer. It's not about uh, third row and fourth column. We can write the logic in Selenium Java where you just provide the row number and column number and we can retrieve the data accordingly, okay? So not just the third row and fourth column, any row, any column, just dynamically you can provide and you can get the data out of that particular cell in the table, okay? Let me practically demonstrate this. So before going to the practical demonstration, you need to understand that you should be good with XPath expressions, okay? In order to write a logic for this, you need to be good with XPath expressions without that, will not be able to get this logic, okay? So let me switch to this uh, Eclipse ID where we have the sample uh, Selenium automation code already written for opening the Chrome browser, for maximizing the browser and for opening the application URL where we have a table available. Let me show you this application URL in the browser. So in the browser, I open the application URL and here we have the table available, okay? So now, next what? Next thing is, uh, okay, fine. So next thing. Next thing is uh, we need to get, let's say this is the table. And from this table, I give some row number and column number and we should get the uh, data out of this. For example, if I give third row and uh, uh, third row and second column, let's say, okay? If I give third row and second column, okay? Here in this example, it's like fourth column, but uh, in this example table, we don't have four columns. Okay, so I cannot go with this, but I'll give you the logic. Okay, you can convert that for third third row and fourth column, no problem. So here only three columns are there. So rows are one, two, three, four. Data related rows are only four rows, but uh, columns are three. Okay, if I say third row and second column, first, second, third row, second column is what? Tw uh, 29. We need to get this 29 out like that. Okay, like that we need to write the logic. So what I will do here is, uh, here we'll open the application URL. After that, we'll ins we'll uh, inspect this and create an XPath expression. So this is the table. It has an ID. Sorry, lose it. Copy this uh, ID of the table and uh, say Control F double slash table at the rate ID ID of the table. You just give the ID of the table. The table got located. Copy this. Okay. Once you get the table located, now. In that, uh, you need to find or create an XPath expression where it can take number of rows and number of columns. So double slash TR, I will say, and here you can give, if you give one means, it will go with the first row. If you give two means, it will go with the second row like that, okay? So here we have to give some number. I'll give third row and double slash TD, I'll say. TD of second. Now you see 29 is getting located, okay? TR3, TD2. One, two, three, and in that second column is 29. Okay, like this, we have to create an XPath expression. And uh, now come back here. Now driver dot, find element, y dot, XPath, give the XPath expression. Okay, put a semicolon here. So for example, here you can uh, customize this. Uh, for example, if you want to dynamically give the number of rows and uh, columns, okay. It's better you can give it here. So what you can do is uh, inch row number is equal to, let's say three. Int column number is equal to two. Okay, now I'll create an XPath expression. String XPath expression is equal to, here I'll copy this XPath expression, paste it here and uh, so how to customize this XPath expression? I'll just put a colon here and say plus, and here also plus, and again double quote, and uh, I'll take it till here, again put a plus, and after this plus and double quote, put a semicolon. Okay, like this I'll customize, and here in place of three, I'll give row number, and uh, in place of uh, this two, I'll give column number, okay? So I'll simply pass this XPath expression in this by dot XPath. This is the way to do so. So let me copy it properly. Copy this XPath expression. 
and paste it here like this done okay so it will get you the value okay so it will get you the web element and from that web element we have to retrieve the value so you can also say dot uh, get uh, text get text here because you see if you go and see the cells the data 29 or whatever the data is between the tags so get text will work out here and it will return you string cell data and just print it out system dot out dot print ln cell data okay if you are good with xpath expressions and uh, how to create the dynamic xpath expressions it is very easy guys to write this logic driver dot quit finally i'll say driver dot quit so if you give third row and second column, you will get 29. This 29 should be printed in the output console. Let's see whether this logic is working fine or not. Let's see what is the logic, what, what got printed 29, okay? I'll change something here, okay? I'll not give third row, I'll give, let's say, second row and third column, okay? Pune should come. So I'll give second row and third column. Here I'll change the row number to two and column number to three. Now run this. You'll get Pune printed in the output console. You see, you got Pune printed in the output console. So hope guys, you got the answer for this uh, question. That is write a program to return data from third row and fourth column in a web table using Selenium automation. It's not just third row and fourth column. You can give any row number, any column number, and you can retrieve the data from that particular cell in the table. Okay. So you need to be good with XPath expression for this, as I already mentioned, and practically demonstrated. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.